Considering an extreme popularity of the Wi-Fi video doorbells, I've decided to bring up and review a certain arrangement of these. And I'm talking about a Hikvision DS-KB600-3-WIP Wi-Fi video doorbell. And what's unusual for Hikvision in here, you cannot connect this doorbell to an intercom monitor. You can't and you don't need to activate it in the CADP and IBMS software. Now, this is a purely consumer-focused appliance with a dedicated consumer mobile app. And now, kind of, let's find out how the device of 2017 deals with the tasks of 2019. And after that, you can go to our People System store and get this one officially within a worldwide delivery and a special offer if you will specify that you are subscribed to us. I'm Daniel. Breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. The unboxing. So here you'll find this regular pack with the details. Now let me put it over in here. And so it includes a user manual and a quick stock guide. There they are. A mounting template. There's, uh, yeah, and it's a sticker actually, power wires and resistor in here that I've <laughs> broke today during the device startup, but fortunately we can continue without this one. There's a screwdriver, screws, anchors in here, and in the middle of the box we got a power connector, here is it. And so the device um, kind of a, requires us to have in addition a 16 to 24 alternating current power supply unit similar to the one I have in here with this type of wires. And on top of that, we are able to change a device exterior by, well, just switching a front panel. And, well, I really like this variety of options that manufacturer fitted in the box. Four different panels is what we have in here. Four different colors, a black, a white, metal, and dark gray, and the exact Wi-Fi video doorbell device, simple and minimalistic as it actually can be. So on top here, we got a microphone hole. Below it, we have a 2 megapixel 1080p main camera module etched by the infrared panel. Some regulatory information along with the QR code needed for device activation below them. And on bottom here, we have a call button with a backlight behind it. So the right side has a micro SD slot that supports 128 gigabytes maximum. And the left side has a mini USB port behind this cover. And here's a reset button next to it. The bottom side has a loudspeaker on it and a hole, uh, and a hole to fix a front panel with a screw. Here it goes like this. And well, a rear panel has only a power element on it, consisting well of a two screws to which we plug a power wire that we put into a power supply or a mechanical chime if you got one. So these are these wires, and here how looks my power supply unit. So this is how we do: we take this, take this, we get a resistor uh, between them, and we go great. Now, what I'm going to tell regarding a device. And firstly, I want to show you a video quality shot on this 2 megapixel 1080p cam and then extract it to this video so you'll see it right now. And what I would say from my perspective, um, quite regular, but not bad. I mean, ring doorbells mostly feature a 1080p if you're comparing. And as a device has an infrared sensor built in, yeah, edging this camera, we're able to trigger a recording by, to start by detecting a motion inside of this lens, which is a 180 degrees view angle. And this is like a true half. Though the distance parameter of the infrared sensor here makes up only five meters, but you probably won't need any more, as this device is supposed to be used closely. And well, taking into account uh, that this is a 2017 consumer gadget. The video compression here is implemented by a bit old H.264 codec. Though among a music vision devices, there's a H.265 all over them. And yet, a lot of manufacturers keep a 264 in their devices even in 2019. And regarding the rest, due to a built-in microphone, there it is, and a speaker in here, we're able to both hear and speak to our visitors via the doorbell. The micro SD you can input in here can be 100 
28 gigabytes maximum. And well, if we combine this capacity with a recording triggered by a motion, well, they can take from uh, 2 to 10 seconds length. This 128 storage will hold that for a long time. And also the device is protected against a dust, is protected against a moisture due to the IP54 protection rate. Yeah, it should be even highlighted here somewhere in the box. Uh, but it, so yeah, it is good, 54, yeah, but it's kind of low that it's enough to like take anything that anyone sends to this guy. So the entire, interac entire interaction with a device happens by a dedicated hit connect app that you gotta, that you gotta get for free in the app store google play yeah and to create account sign up create user and you know how that stuff is happening and after we do that we'll get this screen where we have to add device and we'll refresh so uh, i'll hang it over right now and here you can see i got my uh, uh 24 volts alter alternating current power supply unit here it's in the outlet and i got it connected into here with this wires and so the doorbell is running uh, i'm not sure you can see it but i hope you see uh the button lights with red and blue meaning it the device is ready to be activated and that's what we do grab an iphone pressing add device taking this front panel off and revealing a qr code that we are scanning with our app and there we go the device was found the device is started uh, pressing next, I input in the password of my uh, Wi-Fi, generating, great. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna scan this QR code that I got on my phone with this, yeah. Until we hear that beep. After beep is done, we're ready to go. Pressing I have scanned and connecting to the Wi-Fi now. Until that happens. The Wi-Fi is connected. Wait a little bit, but yet it's this not done. Been it has been registered, and uh, until that happens, I can close the front panel and input the device password. Doesn't matter right now. Like the one I, I got, copied. Adding complete. Finish. Saving. And now we can like you and actually use it. Hey Val, how are you doing? It's my camera guy, you know him. And what you see now is kind of a fish eye, isn't it? I mean, it's a pure 180 degrees in here, which is just great. And let me show you my face. <laughs> yeah, so you can see uh, two faces of mine. Here we can switch to equality. Here, uh, well, the speaker on off, pause the playback. Here we can I uh, digitally zoom. Yeah, and if we go like this, well, actually the image quality is quite great, but though this is a 1080p, I wouldn't say it's good, but, but it's okay. Yeah, that would be. I, now, what we can do here, we can uh, pick another device. And here we can view a playback in this menu. And of course, settings, share. Ah, it just detected a motion. There you see, there you see. Yeah, because it's set to detect a motion and start a recording. So this is how it actually looks. Why don't you, why you don't? Oh, I can't because I'm recording a screen. Now, anyways, this is how it happens and it is very easy. And now let's conclude this whole thing up. You know, these days it's rather who you believe the most. As the device specs are so similar in different manufacturers appliances, so, uh, and, and yeah, the Amazon's Ring and Google Nest are, well, <laughs> well, famous American consumer brands. But if we go deeper, we'll find their psychic vision. Sometimes consumer, but mostly a mid and a high professional equipment segment. Yeah, though this is a consumer one. Although here was the Hikvision DS-KB. Uh, 6003 dash WIP Wi Fi video doorbell, they've managed to do a simply to use, simply to install, long lasting and very durable device that I'm definitely recommending to everyone. And you can get it officially on the People System Store website within a worldwide delivery, like in any part of the world, for you. And if you specify that you subscribe, you'll get a special offer. So thank you for watching. Your protection and your knowing of your surroundings. 
are the main goals in people systems.